A company called Von Duprin introduced exit devices in the United States in 1908 to make it so people could get out of a public building in an emergency. Prior to this, doors in public places were often in swinging doors, and side entrances and exits were often kept locked. Fortunately, since Von Duprin made its first exit device, building codes have been put in place to make sure public buildings have sufficient exits so that everyone should be able to get out of a building in case of a fire or other emergency. By the way, exit devices are also known as exit hardware or panic hardware. And if the exit devices will be used on fire-rated doors, they are called fire exit hardware. Generally speaking, exit hardware is required for doors equipped with latches, which serve rooms or spaces with 50 occupants or more in certain types of public buildings. Exit hardware is also required in some electric rooms. Want to learn more about codes that affect doors and door hardware? Check out this blog at www.idighardware.com, produced by Lori Green from Allegiant. When codes require exit hardware, the actuating portion of the device must be at least half the width of the door leaf. That's so when a person or persons are exiting in a hurry, it is easy for them to find the device. The device must also be easy to operate. Most codes require that the device operate with no more than 15 pounds of force to release the latch. Some jurisdictions have issued even stricter requirements. Exit hardware must be mounted between 34 and 48 inches above the floor. Again, in an emergency, we don't want anyone to have to search for the device. And, very importantly, no additional locking device can be installed on a door that is required to have an exit device. If the codes require fire exit hardware instead of just regular panic hardware, it's because the codes are requiring the opening to be fire rated so that the opening slows the spread of smoke and or fire. One of the most popular features on panic hardware is called dogging. That's where the latch bolt of the device is mechanically held in a retracted position so the doors can be push-pull. Dogging is really convenient when you want people to get in the door without a key. But dogging by a mechanical means is never allowed on fire exit hardware because a retracted latch bolt would not help slow the spread of smoke and or fire. Doors with exit devices are always outswinging, so these doors and the exit devices installed on them are always handed LHR or RHR. The pulls, plates, handles, or levers on the other side of the exit device are referred to as trims. Not all trims work with all exit devices. My favorite comment about exit hardware is in the form of a piece of advice. Always note where the nearest exits are. For example, at a movie theater, make a mental note when you enter how you would exit in an emergency. There is a lot more to learn about exit hardware, but if you grasp the basics presented here, you are well on your way to understanding the very important world of exit hardware. Look for more videos. <laughs>